After digging a little bit deeper into the RTV, I found something that maybe gave me a little bit of pause on my initial doom and gloom um, diagnosis. Maybe gives me a little bit of hope. But the, the doom and gloom is because I'm thinking, or originally I was thinking, the problem is in this drive shaft back in there that goes into that, oh, I don't know what you call it, boss, that the end of this structure that does the semi-independent um, rear end. And it's doom and gloom because I've had it apart before. I've replaced those U-joints before. And the problem is both sides, the shafts, are trapped by this, this U-shaped tube. Um, so to get them out, I don't even remember exactly how I did it. I'm pretty sure I dropped the whole tube out, which means you've got to support the motor down there. And I ended up even taking the bed off to give me more room under there, and you got to undo the springs. It's just a lot of disassembly. Um, and the worst part is, like I said, I've, I've done it. I just don't remember exactly how. I almost... I almost remember breaking down one of the U-joints in place, which is, there's not a lot of room to do that. But anyway, it's a major undertaking. Now, if I do that major undertaking, if I'm taking this whole thing off, then that gives me access to the other side. I should open that up and at least grease the U-joints, or they're probably bad to replace them. And most importantly, replace the seal back here that leaks. Um, but... I might not have to do all that. So when I pulled the hub off, I noticed the splines are, oh, you can't see it. The splines look weird in the end. Like, I don't know if they went all the way to the end here. They don't anymore. So the shaft does not wiggle at all. And when you turn it, uh, I don't know if you can see, its movement kind of seems to jive with the U-joint in there. Like, it's not... Maybe there's not something broken in there. Maybe these splines are worn out and the problem is all on the hub, which is something that did actually happen to my old John Deere garden tractor. Um, because you've got a cast iron hub on a steel shaft, and hopefully it just wore out the splines in the hub and the shaft is okay, because... You can see there is definitely, definitely play between the hub and the shaft. So maybe I just need to buy a new hub um, and that'll let it limp along and still leak out of the other seal, but save me, you know, all that breaking down and free up some time that I could spend on the poor 4030 tractor that's been sitting there for months. Um, but so how do I know if just putting a, a hub on there will fix it? I mean, I could buy a hub or I had the idea and this is what I'm going to do. Take this hub off, switch it with the other side that we know is tight and see what happens then. If that makes the other side loose and wonky and sit lower and this side is tight, then I just need to buy a hub. So we'll see. Fingers crossed. Everything's worse than I thought. This is the other side. The seal looks like it's coming out for some reason. When we go back over the other side, you'll see what I mean, because it's recessed over there. And it's been rubbing on the hub. Um, this one fits on there snug like it should. definitely no play that's that's how it should be um, except for that seal coming out go over to the other side see how the seals in where it's not gonna rub on the hub put the good hub on there and I don't know if you'll be able to see it but there is definitely play more than the other side. So, that's telling me that this shaft is worn out too. Um, maybe, maybe the, a new hub would band-aid it for a little bit, but 
unfortunately, that's that's going to have to be, re be replaced too, which means major, major disassembly. Um, I had hoped that because presumably the, the hub is cast iron and softer, that the steel shaft would have held up and worn out the the hub, but it's apparently got some wear on it too. Um, I don't know if you can see the splines in that one versus that one where these splines in here they're squared like they're supposed to be and these are pointy because they're worn out so we definitely need a hub a shaft God knows what else. Because the other thing that's kind of crazy, this shaft, where it's in the bearings that are in here, it's it's nice and solid. On the other side, the good side, there's a little bit of slop. You probably can't see it. See it. I don't know if you can hear it. So we might need bearings over here. I um, guess I don't know what the shopping list is going to be until it's all torn apart. So that's a bummer. Bummer, bummer. Well, now the easy part's over. Hopefully, I can unbolt this and let this whole axle drop down. And hopefully, there will be enough room that the shafts can pull out from it. I don't know. I don't remember last time it being that easy for some reason, but I guess maybe I'll make the same mistakes all over again. Also, didn't I just clean this damn thing off? Yuck.